Today one of you guys sent me a rather disturbing story from Reddit, which I'm going to read for you and then give you some views on it. It was posted in the subreddit Police UK in the category of Ask the Police. So in this case, you can ask the barrister and I'm going to give you some views. So here we go. It says, my Welsh neighbour and I swapped keys for emergencies and to let each other's dogs out when we are working. She has since got a partner and he has been to my house for a couple of legit reasons, such as checking my electric meter while I was away. The issue happened on Monday when I told him I was having a friend over. He said I should go and put on the long boots and leather skirt or belt that I have upstairs. Those items are hidden in my bedroom drawers and I've not worn them since living in the house alone with my children. I've no idea how to handle this situation, so firstly, has he done anything illegal? Thanks for your help, people. And there is an edit to show thanks for the practical advice and support received in this post. Now, providing your neighbour with a copy of your key is fairly normal in case of emergencies, in case your neighbour needs to come in for any reason, alarms going off, checking the meter as in this post here, any leaks or any other kind of emergency that you would want your neighbour to be able to come in your house for. However, the situation here is fairly crystal clear. If you are providing this key to your neighbour, it will be for a very limited purpose. It certainly does not give free reign for this person to go all over your house, looking in your drawers, looking through your things, and just generally wandering about the house without your permission. In fact, I would go as far as to say there is no implied permission for your neighbor to come into your property, save for the emergency reasons that you've perhaps discussed when exchanging the key in the first place, or for those requests that you've expressly made of your neighbor in a particular event. So there's a couple of things at play here. First of all, the implied permission to enter is only relevant in an emergency or in the case that you've been asked to go in. So if someone has gone into the house, even with the key, without permission, it is at the very least trespass or potentially even burglary. Because for either trespass or burglary, it doesn't necessarily have to be forced or broken entry. Taking the elements of the offence of burglary, for example, from section nine of the 1968 Theft Act, Burglary is entering a building or part of a building as a trespasser with intent to commit theft or grievous bodily harm or criminal damage. And looking further at the element of being a trespasser, the case of Crown against Jones in 1976 is informative because a person who enters a property with the occupier's permission will still be a trespasser if they enter for some purpose which they know is outside of the scope of the permission for which they were granted entry in the first place, or even that they are reckless as to the scope of that permission granted. So in this situation, it is absolutely clear that this person was not granted permission to enter the bedroom, just as it wouldn't be permissible for somebody to go in and steal television sets just because they had permission to be on the premises. And this was in fact the analysis of facts in the case of Jones. So either way, as I say, this is quite a disturbing story. I would be advising to change the locks. I would be putting up CCTV cameras and I would be reporting it to the police because after all, it is quite a heinous thing to do to be going inside someone's bedroom when you didn't have permission to go there. So as always, thank you for sending me this story. I hope that has been enlightening for some people. And of course, thank you for watching.